Joel, I need you to call the director of this damn film and tell him he's Catholic. And then put together a gift basket and send it over to Claire Donahue at the Christian Coalition. What the hell do you put in a Christian gift basket anyway? Uh, throw in a Bible or something. Um, and then we need to get the screening set up over at Paramount. Um, shit, I have another call. Hang on a second. Gina Longfellow. Hey, Gina, it's me. You got a second? What's up? His dad. He's getting worse. Get him a doctor. He has a doctor. The doctor said that he's way too fragile to move to the hospital. Gina, there's not much time. I don't care. Gina, he asked that. Listen to me very carefully. I do not care about him. You, I love, but I have to go. Gina, he Hanging up. Gina! Joel? Hi. No, it, it was nothing. As I was saying, call Paramount, set up the screening room for 7 p.m. sharp. Messages. Gina, call me. Doctor said dad's getting worse. He doesn't have much time. He's asking for you. And Gina, we need you here. I need you here. Come on, sis. Call me. Gina, this is Rick. Hey, sis, it's Rick. Seriously? Call me back. Gina, it's Rick. Give me a call, please. Gina, where you at? It's Rick. Call me back. Can I get a little peace and quiet? Jesus, Rick, leave me alone. We said 7 p.m. P.m. Who the hell sets a screening for 7 a.m.? How long have you been working there? You don't tell me no. What are you gonna tell Variety when they show up tonight? Oh, sorry, the screening was this morning at 7. I don't think so. Just fix it now, or I will have your job. Oh my God, this phone will not stop ringing. What? I know, you're busy. Listen, Dad says he's sorry. Really sorry for everything. So? Too little, too late. You know, when mom died, he made me take care of you two. I was only 11, cooking and cleaning for a grown man. I didn't, I didn't have a childhood. I didn't have anything. I know we were a burden to you, sis. I know, but he's sorry for the way he was. And he really wants to tell you himself. You were never a burden, but he was the adult and put the burden on me. He should have taken care of us. Gina, he's fading fast. There's nothing else we can do for him. It could honestly be any minute now. I'm sorry. I want to be there for you. I do, but... I have a lot of work to do tonight, and a press screening tomorrow night for our new movie, and I just can't make it. I'm sorry, I gotta go. But Gina... Sorry. Just, just tell him, I don't know, make something up, okay? He was never there for me, so I can't be there for him. Listen, um, I'll check in with you tomorrow night when I get home from the screening, okay? No, Rick. Gina, I know life hasn't been good since mom died. I'm so proud of you. I can't wait to see what the next four years brings. Good luck in school. I love you, sunshine. Damn it, Dad. Joel, hi. Um, listen, something came up. Um, I'm not going to make it tonight. No, I'm fine. It's my dad. He's sick. Um, 
Look, just cover for me, okay? Thanks. Thank you. I'm not home. Leave me a message. Gina! It's unbelievable. He's gonna make it. The doctor said he's gonna make it. Get over here. He's gonna make it. We love you, sis.